So we have EAS fault, rear bags have dropped while driving, even though I did install a new compressor, which is one of those Chinese ones. It's no longer effectively pumping air into the system. Shoot air in out of a compressor into the dryer, straight into here, and it will inflate the whole system up to its full height. And it will stay that way for weeks on end at the full height without dropping so long as I remove ANR4652 the control unit boxes underneath this plastic here this is a relay controller for all that if it's playing up when you close your doors after turning the car off when it's not working properly it actually drops the the whole car just goes straight down to the, the bump stops. So I had recently fixed all of my air suspension problems with new bags. So it's that's not the reason why it's dropping. It's not a the reason it's dropping has nothing to do with air leak from the actual bags. And uh, I did a soap test and there was no leaks. So this leads me to believe that my likely culprit is this relay. And if you take that relay out after jacking the car up to full height, it'll stay like that for weeks. It only drops when you close the doors after turning the car off with that relay installed. I'm not gonna blame the compressor because it's brand new, and when I bought it, it was actually inflating the system, so something else has gone wrong. I read online that some people had put uh, basically your normal yellow fuse into here. It does fit. The instant result was the rear dropped all the way to the bottom. After about 10 minutes of driving, AAS fault came up, which I haven't seen for a long time. So when I turn the car off, we'll see. It will say AAS fault. There it is, AAS fault. So I need to use EAS sweep, clear fault, so I can then put air back into the system. Once air's back into the system, I've got it up to full height. I'm going to reset all my height values. Um, I swapped the sensors on the front, not the rear, and I never actually reset it properly. So we're going to put all the little metal tubes under the bump stops and just go back to the uh, factory setting heights. Yeah, ignition on. Look at that. It has now got a good idle. Didn't even have to initialize again. Sensor heights. I've parked the car on flat ground. I'll get these little metal tubes. I'll just simply drop the car down onto them and whatever the sensor says, that's what I'll calibrate as. So under calibrate, hit read all. I currently entered for each height. So I want to change it to whatever it actually is when the the car's dropped onto the bars. Go with the uh, compressor. So I just shot the compressed air in and now I have this thing up really high. Cut the computer, hit unlock on the EAS suite and that's pretty much all I had to do. Then I unplugged it, uh, went back, turned the car on. Got my shock compressor and I put air into this, uh, filled it up to its highest spot. Now, what I need to do is put under all four so sides the, the little uh, lengths of steel under the bump stops. Done that, I will hook EAS suite back up, turn the system back on, I will depressurize airbags. That'll drop the car onto my or wooden dowel inserts. Then I'll click get heights and then I'll enter whatever those figures are for the the, uh, the highest ride height. You can see the bump stop there. So basically the dowel just has to fit in that hole. I've just made some height calibration dowels setting 140mm on the front, 145 on the rear, um, standard 100 front, 105 rear. 
low 75 front, 80 rear, and 35 front and 40 millimeters on the rear. So you basically drop the car down onto these dowels. All the blocks are in. Get communication. Com two on this one. Initialize. Unlock. Get height sensors of the current height. So it's a little bit higher right now than the figures it's going to end up with. We've got 164, 163, 131, 145. Click understand, depressurize springs. Now it's going to drop the car down onto the height blocks. See it's gone into the blocks see what the site the height sensor says now 138 and 135 and 117 and 125 and 125 now I'll write that to see if it's actually written it's been written so now it's just jacking up at the chassis Before I let that back down, let's just put the next... So I just dropped that down and has gone into that bump stop a little way. So I'll only have to be jacking up all four corners and doing this once for the other height so I can actually set the car to high profile height to um, raise it away from the next, um, all three sets of these, uh, the next height settings. So it won't be as tedious of a job. So let's depressurize again. There it goes. Boom. Let's get height sensors. They were our last figures for the, the tallest setting. Now we're, so next thing is I could jack the car up to the high profile so I can remove the standard blocks and put my low profile blocks in. So I'll do that now. Make sure we set it to go up to the highest setting. So now I've started the car, clicked go to high profile. The next height blocks are in, depressurized springs again. It's dropping down on the front. 292, 83, 97. 92, 97. Write that in, stored. So we're currently looking like this. I've just put my access profile uh, stops in, so let's see if we can depressurize springs. Hopefully it's lowered down to go while to respond on the rear, but it got there. 62, 65, 61 and 75 to see that it's been written and click get it is there so there's all my heights so one problem is now solved where I now have all my height settings correct I'll just see if I can get the laptop to just raise it up to its full height so with EIS now reset recalibrated let's drop the car down Let's 
got to high mode. See it raising at the back. So just to recap. The success has been that recalibrating the heights. Um, I'm now able to use the air compressor again. So I'd say today's been a success. All I've done is recalibrate the heights.